I told you, if you work hard for something, nothing can stop you from getting it except for yourself. That was absolutely amazing. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you all in a bit. I feel really good about that one. I feel really... That, that... That's gonna bang. Oh. Love Club Penguin content. Whoa. I'm so dizzy. I can't see. That's essentially what happened every time I finished a video for the past month. Hiya. How you doing? My name's Wetty. What's your name? Awesome. So I thought I'd wear the eye patch as a joke. I have some scars on my left eye, which I was insecure about at first, and I also thought it could help make more of a character rather than being my actual persona. But because of injuries that have happened to this eye, which I will get into in another video, don't you worry, they're all just being sorted out at the moment. Because of the injuries, wearing the eye patch didn't help, <laughs> essentially, and now my brain completely ignores this eye, and I'm only seeing out of this eye 80%. So, eye patch is going. Not completely, if it's a short recording, like under 30 minutes, for example, eye patch can be there. Maybe for short bursts, but for the longer ones, you're back to me. What do you think of these glasses, by the way? I've got two pairs. Do you prefer these? Or these? These? Or these? Might wear these ones for the rest, you know. They're a bit looser, but I mean... Buy the other bit, you know? Live dangerously! I'd like to give a, a shout out to Draconic as well, because he came back to YouTube and hit it like a storm with his Pokemon trading streams. They have been doing amazing, and he gave me so many shout outs to the point that I started feeling bad for not shouting him out but there's not much I can do at the moment but he's growing like crazy if you've not checked out Draconic and you're interested in Pokemon might help him on the microphones over here welcome to ASMR episode 2 check out Draconic if you like Pokemon and like good content thank you I have cut down my videos to one a day mainly so I can focus on quality of them and once I can get in that proper schedule, I might up it a bit again. But I wasn't doing games that I enjoyed as much. I didn't really enjoy Raft as much as I expected. I was recording videos that you'll never even see because I just didn't like where they was going and I was too stressed. Oh, I wasn't stressed isn't the word. I wasn't 100% in every single video, whereas now I can record for two hours on like Batman, for example. And I can just go ham on that because I love that game so much. I'm going to start doing more in real life videos as well. That's going to be... Don't you think that's going to be so awesome? Don't you think it's awesome when people don't just sit in a room all day and actually go out and do crazy, crazy stuff? Because that is what I'm going to be doing. And you're going to really like it. So as you can see, we're not looking amazing over here at the moment. We've looked worse, but it's the first time it's been red. Like this week it's been red. That's the first time since I've been back. If we look at these videos... Okay, that one's picking up a little bit now. But yes, this Minecraft one... It's, it's got more comments than it does views. It's got no views, apparently. Because of this... This little dick. Honestly, these comments have... Made me go mad, you know? If you don't know how YouTube works these days, if you used to make videos or you've never made videos, but if you used to make them especially, and you haven't done for a while, everything's made on watch time now rather than views. So... A lot of them have been deleted now, but... I've got some screenshots on the screen right now of all these videos I had four in the space of about five minutes on a video of these people saying amazing video keep up the amazing content and they don't realize or maybe they just don't care that you can literally see that they watched it for zero seconds it was one second but obviously it's just rounded it down it's always trap channels trap music channels and they always end up getting deleted I don't want your music Go away, thank you. Yeah, we've struggled to get back into the double figures. But I've noticed that the videos I don't expect to do very well do awesome. Like the secret agent and the pit both got 20 views. Stanley Parable got 12. 
Okay, this one actually started picking up. That was very slow at first. That was doing awful. Payday! The first Batman episodes had 15 views. This one baffled me. I threw this together in around three hours, maybe. Maybe three hours. And it's got the most likes on any video I've done since I've been back. I'll tell you what, playing games with one eye covered is so hard. Don't you agree? And then waxing... Waxing my legs got 50. How did a man waxing his legs get 50 views? But yet, when I ate the world's hottest noodles, it got 9. It's really confusing, and then it really dropped. Now, it looks like this Club Penguin one's been doing quite well. 9 views. This is the video I was talking about. 4 comments asking to be YouTube friends. That's not what this video is, reviewing my channel. Just can we stop with the nice video I want to be YouTube friends? I can't really ban any of those words, but it's... I've, it frustrates me because it it gives me. Oh, let's, let's show you. So it makes this video, the I had to leave on the aqua grabber, make it look like people only watched the 20 minute video for 50 seconds. That's not right. No, it's, it's not. It's not going to be for the full time, but because four people at least watched it for one second, it's literally sliced it in half. It's sliced it. I'd rather have four views. A bit up higher because this is what it bases the algorithm off. Why am I ranting to you? I don't know. Some of you may have seen that I have been putting at the end of my videos and saying in my challenges that we're going to hit 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. You might have thought that was a bit of a joke. It's not. I'm just that crazy. I've become a huge believer in that if you put your mind down to something, there is absolutely nothing to stop you from achieving that. Is that true? So I'm really putting that to the test by going absolutely ham, which is why I'd love as much of your feedback as possible. Even if, you know, if you're watching the video and you get bored after a minute, tell me, tell me in the comments or pre message me privately. Tell me that you're bored after a minute. If you really like one, let, let me know. If you really hated one, let me know. If a thumbnail, if you didn't even want to click on a thumbnail, just let me know because all this feedback it's going to be so valuable to me, and I would appreciate absolutely all of it. And I might even give you something back from it. <laughs> you never know. So, my schedule that I'm looking at at the moment is looking something like this. Mondays, we're going for a real life video. Whether this is something like this, I'm out in the world when it's not raining a million cats and dogs. Speaking of a million, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be absolutely fantastic. Could be a cooking video could be a challenge. I've got some really good challenges lined up, some impossible challenges that we're going to smash first try. Tuesday, revisiting Chris Antoni and other indie games. Did the first one of these last night, as I'm saying this, One Night Two Crazies, and I loved it so much. It was, it was awesome. So I'm going to be going through a few of those and other horror games. Indie, horror, Chris Antoni, Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be the random day. Whether I find a random game I want to play, such as Payday 2, Gary's Mod, one of these nostalgia games like the Harry Potter I played, or the Scooby-Doo, Octodad, I've got about 30 games in my Steam library that I've not touched, but I've paid for them, so we're going to be going on for some of them. It also includes collab. Thursday, it's going to stay normal, it's going to be Club Penguin, Stamps. I am determined by the end of the year to have every single stamp in a Club Penguin rewritten, the first man ever put me in the Guinness World Records book. Friday is going to be continuing my Batman series. I've done the maths, and if I do all my episodes, like I've done the last two that I've recorded, there should be around 10 to 12 in each game, and there's four games, so it should take me until around Christmas time to finish all four Batman games, which is going to be incredible. And that's if I do them back to back. I might slice something else in between. You never know. I'm unpredictable. Hey, I might disappear tomorrow and never upload again. What are you going to do? Hey, I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry. Sunday, online games, much like the SpongeBob one I did. What baffles me about that is that I did a very similar video, but with Scooby Doo games. And that was just after I came back, but I never uploaded it or edited it because I didn't like the recording. But the Spongebob one did so well, I'm thinking of going back and doing it again. But I've got some really good ideas. This could be random, like random Spongebob games, but of a different TV show. Like random Scooby-Doo games. 
random Walking Dead games, something like that. Or it could be like Bin Weevils. We did Bin Weevils. Moshy Monsters, which isn't around anymore. Habbo Hotel. Anything online. And Sunday, most likely going to be another Club Penguin video, whether it's going to be a mass event, like mass hide and seek. It's going to be another stamp journey, a party, meeting a mascot, anything like that. That is what we're looking at right now. And to me, I, I am very happy with that. If you have any suggestions, anything in there you don't want to do. And I was left a comment last time I did a video like, like this, when I asked, what did you want? And someone said, essay type videos with lots of research. And I've not done anything on that. And that's not because I'm ignoring them. I take in all of your feedback. The only thing with the essay one, I have lots of ideas. But it requires quite a bit of filming outside of here. And I've not got the equipment for that right now. So, they will be coming, but I want to make them as high quality as possible. I want to make sure the future retention stays. Let's give them something to stay for. We can put it at the start of the video and then they'll stay to see what happens. I told you, if you work hard for something, nothing can stop you from getting it except for yourself. And me just being a pussy. Oh, I hate this. Why have I done this to myself again? Because I am determined. You know what? Oh, it's on my belly button. Oh no. Oh no, not my belly button. Oh, oh, good God. Ah! Oh, thank fuck for soothing wipes. So let's summarize. The eye patch is not going to be around as much anymore, unfortunately. You've got my schedule on screen once again. Go and subscribe to Draconic if you like Pokemon content. And indie games, he reviews them indie games when he's not live streaming Pokemon content. Did I mention he has a shiny Wooloo? If you have absolutely any feedback, positive or negative, put it below because it's the only way that we grow. That is an awesome ride and I'm going to stick to that. Feedback below so that we can all grow. Yes.